Hello everybody, and welcome to another Stu Gaming tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own custom content paintings for The Sims 4. So let's get started. So the very first thing that you're going to need is The Sims 4 Studio. Also, you are going to need some sort of photo editing program. For example, Photoshop would be perfect. That is what I've used. And uh, you can actually find those here. So if you go to The Sims 4 Studio, this is a link I'll post in the description below. Right here, all you would be clicking on is the installer. So you would be installing that. And then also the download center. When you do get Adobe Photoshop, you will not be able to edit the paintings unless you install the 32 and 64 bit plugin for Photoshop. Because this Photoshop program does not come with the ability to actually edit DDS files in default. So when you actually get the plugin and you want to start editing, what you would do is you would go to The Sims 4 Studio to create create the DDS file first. So what we're going to do is click on recolor and we're going to click on object. Okay, and you also have to put a creator name, but once you put your creator name the first time, you'll never have to put it again. So now that it's done loading, you can see that all of the objects in The Sims 4 have now pre-populated into this menu. So to make it easy for ourselves, we're just going to search what we're looking for specifically. I'm looking for a painting. So I'm just going to type the word paint, click on a painting, and go next. So this painting has a large black frame, which is great because that's what I'm looking for. And I'm going to save it, and it doesn't really matter what you save it as because at the end of the day, we're going to be able to change that anyway. So now, for this particular painting, I really only want one picture, so I'm just going to remove all these extra ones and just keep the black frame. Okay, now here what we're going to do is we're going to rename it, and this you have to make sure you keep correct, because you're not going to be able to change this later. So I'm just going to call it Beautiful Painting, and I'm just going to rename it here the same thing. It doesn't really matter what I put in the description personally, but hey, if you want to put something nice, you can do that too. Now the price, you can also customize, but I'm just going to keep it the same price. Now that I've saved the information on my painting, I'm going to export it as a DDS file, so I'm going to call this DDS test to my desktop. Now that it's saved there as a DDS test, I can now go ahead and start editing my painting. So I'm going to pull up Adobe Photoshop. Now here I'm going to open and I'm going to open up my DDS test. And with the plugin, it'll actually allow you to do this. So I'm going to load using default sizes. There it is. So now I would like to completely remove this inside of the painting. So I'm going to zoom in and just play around with this a little bit. So I've now finished editing my picture. I have the photo that I'd like to see on the wall over the one that was there before. So now I'm going to go ahead and save as, and I'm going to save this as a DDS file as well. So again, it doesn't really matter what you put, but I'm going to call this DDS test 2, save as. Save, perfect. So now we're going to go back to our recoloring tool, and I'm going to import what I just did, so DDS test 2. And now as you can see, it's right here. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click save and this is actually going to save the package file that I originally created. Closing this out and minimizing this, when we go to our package file, I can now rename this to beautiful painting. Now all you have to do is cut your package file and move it into the mods folder of your documents. So there we go, pasting it here. So now I'm going to load up the game. Here is our beautiful painting that I've just created in the Adobe Photoshop and it's now in my game. If you guys have any questions on how to create these custom content paintings, leave them in the comments below. But otherwise, I hope you like this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.